Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to the next video dealing with quadratic relations and their transformation still. So the next transformation we're going to talk about is a vertical translation or shift, meaning that it's translated or shifted up and down of that base function y equals x squared. All right, so so far what we've done is we've looked at the a and h value of the translation. Remember that ultimately where we're going to get to is when we combine all the transformations, we're going to have this format over here. But we're looking at each of these separately for now. So before we looked at the A value, so we were looking at that, then we looked at the H value separately. So we were looking at that, that was in the previous video. Well, now, as you guessed it, we're going to look at the K value separately. So what we're going to be looking at in this particular video are quadratics in this format over here. Right? We're just looking at that K value separately. And the K value, in my opinion, it's the easiest to, uh, to work with. There's like the H value, there's only three cases, either the k value is going to be positive, it's going to be greater than zero, it's going to equal zero, or it's going to be less than zero. Now, same thing with the h value, but I feel like the k value is easier because remember with the h value, we had to worry about sort of changing the sign, like if we had x plus four squared, then the h value was negative four, or if we had an h value of positive four, then it would be x minus four squared. Well, here we don't have to worry about that because it's not x squared minus k, it's just x squared plus k. And so that sign is going to stay the same and it's going to be intuitive. So if we have a positive k value, well, that means there's a vertical shift or translation uh, k units up, right? So we're taking the quadratic, we're shifting it up by k units. Now, if the k value is zero, then we just end up with x squared. So there is uh, no transformations here, no vertical shift up or down. And then if k is negative, then there's going to be a vertical shift or translation k units down. Okay, and again, you don't have to worry about switching the signs because, for example, let's say k is, um, let's say positive three. Well, we'd end up with y equals x squared plus three. Right, the k is three and in the actual equations, it's positive three. Right? We don't have to worry about switching the signs like the h value, or if it's negative, we'll have y equals x squared minus 3. All right, so you can directly just see the k value is negative, the k value is positive. Now, in general, the vertex of a quadratic in this kind of format, it's always going to be 0 and k. Right? If it's in this kind of format. Now, if there's an h value involved as well, as you'll see later on when we mix all of these, the vertex is actually going to be h and k. But in this case, the h value is 0 because there's no bracket there. So it's like x minus 0. So it's just x. And then we are squaring it. So that h value is 0. So a quadratic in this particular format, vertex is at 0 and k. So the way that these two scenarios would look, is if we got, let's say, x squared like this, well, if the k value is positive, we're just taking that and shifting it upwards like that. Or, uh, sorry, this is uh, x squared plus k. Okay, this is if k is positive, right? And then that vertex here would be at zero and k versus the vertex for the base function is zero and zero. If we're just shifting it up by k units, then we're just adding k to that y value of zero in the original vertex, right? To get that vertex of zero and k. So that's the way 
that this case would look over here the way this case over here nothing happens it's the same function and the way this case would look is if uh, we got y equals x squared like that well instead of shifting it up we're shifting it down and so it's going to look like that right there this ends up being x squared plus k and in particular, this is going to happen if k is negative, right? If it's less than zero. The vertex is still going to be at zero and k, all right? So notice here, with this particular quadratic, the vertex is going to be at zero and three. This particular quadratic, it's going to be at zero and negative three. Okay, it's always going to be that k value right there, right? So that's pretty much it. So the a value, it deals with vertical stretches and compressions and also reflections in the x-axis if it's negative. The h value is going to deal with horizontal translations or shifts, so shifts left or right. And then the k value, which we went over in this video, it deals with vertical translations or shifts, so it either goes up or down. Now, in the next couple of videos, we're going to do a bunch of questions dealing with what we learn, applying these transformations, and then further down the line, we're going to be combining all of these transformations.